Hi everybody. Right, today I'm using my pyramid mould. I've got a little toy car. What I'm going to do is fill it up a little bit. Then I'm going to submerge that into uh, resin to get all the air resin through the car. And stick it up that way somehow. Um, and set that there. And then I'm going to paint the um, underneath the car grey with a white line as if it's a road and then put a little bit more on top and make it into a, a little night light. I shouldn't think that will come up too far. I think hopefully it'll be too you know look below. So I've knocked up um let me work it out how much have I got I don't even know how much I've got in there. Don't know, I think it's 40 um, mil, I think. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with this one, as always, never ready. I'm going to put some pigment in. I'm going to put, uh, what one is that? That just says forget me not. And that one is blueberry. So I'm going to do just forget me not because it looks like it's a bit lighter. And the white. So I've got to shake them up well. I've watched many a video from Louise Singleton brilliant she is I love the way she does her pyramids I'd like to say hello to Claire from Claire's Crafting Corner even though I know she doesn't really watch any of these uh, Wendy from Toon Pish and not to forget Wanda for Wanda's creation she oh bless her little art she shouts her help for me every time she does a video so I'm doing a shout out to her. Right, so I don't want this mixed in all the way properly. Just mix it in a little bit. Because I want the streaks and I want some white in there. Don't know how many drops I've done of the white. So hopefully, that will do. I don't want it mixed in at all. And then with this, I'm going to stick my, two, my um, lollipop there and I'm going to drizzle down it just for a little bit. And then, because as you can see it drips down the side. Before I do anything else, I get one of my micro brushes without the bit on the end and I make sure there is nothing in the little hole, okay? And then I will, I don't think I need this bit. Put that in. Might have made it a bit dark, I'm not sure. We won't find out until it's all actually demolded. So that will have to cure now because then the next level and all I'm going to do is give it a quick zap just to make sure there's no bubbles it already look um, and then basically that will dry and I'll put the clear in and let that dry and then put the car in it like that and then I might even put the car sort of like wedge the car in there somehow and put the uh, clear around it so it's like in with the clear because it will probably float up hopefully a little bit which doesn't bother me so then when it's at the top that will cure and then I'll do the road bit so that's got to sit and cure. So I shall see you soon. 
right that's all nice and cured here's my car what I'm going to do is um not them two I don't think they're too big take two of these smaller lollipop sticks I'm going to put one on there hot glue it on one on there hot glue it on hot glue it together and then add probably this one do these go across they don't go across you see not quite big enough so I'll have to put it onto here <coughs> so I'm just waiting for my glue to heat up my glue gun there's a bit of it look so that can go on there hopefully it will stick hopefully It's not going to stick there, but well, it is going to stick, but the bloody wheel's going to go round. Okay, nope. Okay, let's put these. This is a real trial and error. Put them to there. So it's basically the width of the um, car tyres I've done it. And I'm going to put a bit on this one. Put on this one. Hopefully. <laughs> and put them on the tires that's on that tire that's on that tire it doesn't help that the tires are going around so I like that so it should stay hopefully might have to put more glue on it All right, okay looks like that might have done it And then I want this top one, this one, onto here. So let's do a dollop on there. Stick that on there. Like so. That's in the middle-ish. Because what I want to do next is I've got some resin here made up from another project. Let's turn off my gun. Um, I want to submerge. the car in here hopefully oh, all the bubbles will come out and what I want to do is put that Oh, it's too tight, too tall. Fifth, that's too tall. I'll find a way of doing it. I've got to put it up around about there. So, 
If I do it that way, yeah. I'll have pop that side and I'll pop that side or even that side and that side okay so I want that to sort of like go there so it's suspended you can see it rocking and then uh, I'm going to put my spoon in my spatula and very slowly pour down the spatula hopefully not incurring bubbles I might have to put some more resin in it it might not be enough resin You've got to remember that this is not a deep pour resin I do not believe so even if I have to pour half and then half that's fine because I don't want it overheating which I think is going to happen so I might be able to get it to the car. I'm not sure if that's covering the car. Yeah, the car's in it. Okay. I'm not going to put any more in there because that is just going to um, overheat otherwise. But the car's in there now. So that can suspend there like that and dry. And then I can put another take this all off and it'll be okay so yeah that's all in there and give it a quick because I can see loads of bubbles I have to come back to see if I can see any more bubbles on it so come back to me the next uh, the next stage hopefully you can see what I've done sorry I've got you right on the edge of the board hopefully you can see what I've done and I shall see you soon bye okay so the next layer I'll take these off and you can see the car is there it's in there I'll take that bit off. okay so now you can see it's in there this is just going straight down a stick. Actually, I'm going to pour it straight on top of that for a minute to feel the holes, hopefully, get rid of any air pockets. And hopefully, this will take it up to the bottom of, of the wheels. See, look, I can see uh, air pockets coming out. Oh, excuse me, I've got itchy nose. I really hope that we're going to have no more air come out. I won't be happy if we don't, if we do, I mean. It goes me to my washing machine. I do apologise, people. If you want to fast forward this bit, please do. Let's 
seen a lot of bubbles go in there for some reason. didn't sit straight which is a bit of a pain two three four so I might as well put that little bit in make sure it's all covered nicely Okay, so let's just put some of the bubbles. You've got to be careful because you can burn your resin and your mould. Okay, so as that's there you go, that's got them. Bit of the old alcohol. Okay, so now that layer has got to dry. So I shall see you with the next layer. It will be a lot more interesting. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. These are my stains, but they've got um, they've got shells in as well. So let's have a look. it won't matter if it's got shells in Wee -hee. Ah, do you know what it's on a beach road <laughs> it's on a big beach road oh look there's a little tiny one there I won't chuck him in because he's actually whole and that one. Oh, two whole ones. All right. Okay. Oh, and another whole one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now I'm going to put Right, give me two seconds I'll be back okay I'm gonna make a bit of resin up just cover that up because I don't really want it any higher than that and then I'm gonna make try to make a base for it to sit on oh, look it's off me uh, one of the plants that I tried one of the things on top of it um, I'm going to try and make a base for this to sit on so the lights can sit inside it so you don't see the lights and you can actually change the lights if you need to. So you're going to have to wish me luck on this because I've never tried anything like this before. So let me mix the resin up so we can get this bit going. Back soon. Okay. <clears throat> I've made up 90 mil of resin. So all I'm doing is I'm going to pour this over. Make sure it's all covered. Remember, because I mean, it's only a thin layer anyway, but hopefully it should right, stick you down because you're too tall. So. See, there's bubbles coming up from the stones. 
Oh look, I missed one. Ah, oh, he's a nice one as well. Get him in there so you can see him. Alright. So that's going to have to stay and cure. A quick splurt. Quick spritz. Gobble's gone. Right. I'm going to leave that to cure and then I'm going to set myself up so I can do the base bit. And I'm going to do this base in this as well. Right, so it won't be long. Okay, I've never made anything like this before. So I am just totally winging it. I'm going to put these two together. I haven't took the protective covering off. And I'm going to put some tape across. Like that. And seal that up. Um, <clears throat> Fingers and thumbs. Can you see what I'm doing? Just let me move it a bit. Sorry. I think you can see. Okay. So then that needs cutting off. Okay. Make sure. I can that seal is really sealed because everybody knows resin if there's a hole it will find it it will find a hole if it can okay let me put another strip there I put my knife. Where did I put my knife? I had it two minutes ago. There it is. Long pop. Okay. Cut that off. Put another bit across there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the resin will get out. It's turbo, so it's going to cure pretty quick. I hope. <laughs> so let's take that off like that. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Well, as best as I can because there's loads of air bubbles. But there's loads of them. But as long as they're not on that seal. Okay, so that is going to be the base. So then, let's turn it back for the base. I'm going to want to put this on uh, how am I going to do this some people make it look so really easy so I've got to take that off a bit and get a bit of tape so I can tape it in a minute and shut it only in your mouth Okay, so here it is. Just a little bit. And put it up to there. And then somehow. <laughs> somehow. Put that there. Make sure it's even. And tuck it under. Get a piece that is about the same length. And stick that to it. And then down there. Or do I hot glue it? <laughs> I 
don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what I see. Um, one of the blokes, I can't think of his name now, do apologise. The one that does all the little tiny things like this. Oh, what does he do? I got a feeling he just. Right, I'm going to take that off again. Ah, don't pull the back off. Don't pull the back off yet. At all, actually. Right, pull the back back on. Otherwise, that's all going to get scratched. Right. Let's get my glue gun working. He has it like this. I know what he does. Be silly. Take that. Oh. that back off. Okay. He puts that there on there. So he takes these off. This is the if it's getting um, moulded on, it takes these off. Okay, and then he takes. Let me, oh, hang on, turn my glue gun on. <laughs> Glue guns on. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a see what we can do here. So he puts that there inside it, doesn't he? So if I do that that side first, and glue down that side. Goes inside. Oh. Is that right? <laughs> yes, isn't it? Oh, fun with Sandra. <laughs> enough yet. Or should I do that side first? Let me do this side first actually. Do this side first. Yeah. Can you see see what I'm doing? You can see what I'm doing can't you? I'm trying to knock all my jars and everything else over. Guns useless. That's better. Maybe it wasn't quite hot enough. Okay. Like that. And then Put one here, put one over there, look, ah, that whole glue gun's hot. <laughs> Don't do a Sandra, that hurt. Okay, take this up, this off, and this 
side. And that one there. And I'm sure, just bring it in slightly. That is glued. Yep. And then the bottom. That. I hope this is going to work because I will be so upset if all of a sudden the resin all starts coming out. And I'll put that on there. Slip that down there. That oh, always come away from the oxy glue. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? That was clever. for me. Okay, do it that way. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> this lead. Do it maybe a battery one cordless or something come out. Right out pickle here. Right out pickle. What's that one? Goes in. <laughs> yeah, like so. Come on out. Glue. These glue sticks don't go far. And there's no holes. holes whatsoever because as I said resin will find its way out if it can find a hole it will find a hole there you go that would do oh no I ain't done this side <laughs>
Okay, I think that is done. And I'm hoping it's not going to find its way out there. Fat. No. Better not. Let me fix that. That's still um, wet. <laughs> right. Oh my good God, Sandra. Turn this glue gun off before I cause any more havoc. Turn it around that way. So I can't cause any more havoc. <laughs> This one in the bin. Oops, that's very hot and wet. It's fine. Oh, stringy, stringy, stringy. Get off. Get off. Okay. Oh, get off of me. Hopefully, that's going to be all right. Not too fussed. Oh, that didn't go very uh, straight, did it? Never mind. Never mind. It's not going to be a deep one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these pots in the middle. No, I'm not. Not yet. I'm going to mix some resin up. So I should be back again in a minute. Okay, change my mind. Put this ball, I'm going to put this ball in there. Not this. Well, it's a sphere, should I say. Sorry. Um, obviously, I'm not filling a sphere up. So, what I'm going to do is I've mixed up 300 uh, ml of resin which is the turbo cure I've got my stones that I used in the other bit I'm going to stick some in there might be more than that there's the milk right, okay. make sure there's it's all mixed up nicely Moving that way a little bit. Is that better? Can you see a bit better? I hope so. Okay. So they are all covered. I think I'm going to put more in than that. There you go. I've used a lot. Oh, bomb. Oh, look, there's another shell. Oh, there's another few shells. Oh, well. Too late. They're in the resin. Okay. So make sure they are nice and covered. Okay. There'll be bubbles galore coming out of this. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure I've got load on the floor I might even not have enough stones to do this Shell, another in there. You can see him. Okay. So then, I'm put him in. And then I'm just going to fill up around him. I think what I 
might do. Okay, so that's not going to fill up very far, is it? Literally all my stones. Okay, that's all my stones gone. That's only a little stand, isn't it? making up more resin I expect. So my daughter lives near the beach. So she goes collecting sometimes with the kids and uh, they found all these for me. Bless them. Fill it up. Best as I can. And some of these smaller ones. And believe me, I've got loads. <laughs> Don't want you hiding in that shell. Get out. That's better. Don't want you hiding. That is more sacred. Is it? And there was then the ones over there as well, weren't there? The little ones. Make sure they're all stuck in there. You can tell it's uh, my wash day because I'm in the kitchen and the old tumble drive down 10 for the dozen. I need my stuff to work for tomorrow. Okay. Straight 
just grabbing now. I don't know if you can see, but I'm just grabbing them. Get the big ones out of the way and just grab. Taking the kids down the beach again. Or well, my daughter will, one of the two. Probably me. Okay. That's a bit better. Let's make sure they're all covered in the resin. up a box every time I want something because it's all in the box. Right, I think that's everything in there. Not sure whether to make a bit more resin and pour on top but I don't want to do it right now because it's um, fast curing so I don't know how it will react if I put too much in. Right. A bit of squirt with the old alcohol and I shall leave that to dry. Now why I've put this in is because once it's dry I'll take this out and hopefully I'll be able to put my fairy lights in there, make a lid, put the fairy lights in there with the string hanging out so that you can always take the lid off and renew the lights if they go so that's that so i shall see you i can't see no well apart from the fact that i've popped it out i can't find no leaks yay <laughs> i should have done something without it leaking <laughs> anyway i shall see you soon bye hi <coughs> oh excuse me these are both cured nice and hard should be because I've left them there for about three days. <laughs> right, I'm gonna first of all, I'm gonna demold this one. I'm not going any higher with this. So that's what it comes out of. And this is the pyramid. So let's see what this turns out like. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Shame about whatever it there is. Not sure what that is. And there's some bubbles on it. But I love it. I think that's brilliant. Let's turn the mould in the right way first before I carry on. Right. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> Oh, I'm just to punch that little one, just like that. I don't know what that is though. I don't know why that misty stuff, stuff's there. I don't know. It's weird. 
I know it's powder and there's powder on it, but and that feels I don't know. It feels a bit rough there for some reason. Obviously this lot's rough underneath, but that feels rough there for some reason. So that's gonna have to be sanded a bit, I think. My worst nightmare. Right, now this one. Take that out. How easy that was that? Love it, love it, love it. Oh, they're um, sitting up a bit on them, and there's a... That's fine, that's fine. Right, let's see if I can get this apart. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> clean Jeez, I've well glued it. Better than what I thought I had. We use that for a little piece. <laughs> oh, blimey. I see other people and they just go and they take it off. <laughs> right. Let's see if I can start it off. Oh, I put loads on there. stuck that is well stuck oh blimey it ain't coming off like it does on the people other people's on telly Let's just go down the join <laughs> It's me. I can't even get the plate back in. Oh my god, come on, you silly blade. Go back in. Thank you. Let's <sighs> come back up again tight. Oh. That should just peel off. God, blaming heck. <laughs> I know. Let's try big guns. Well, little guns. Really? <laughs> See if we can get the bottom off. Oh, Jesus. Ah, you've had leakage. Maybe that's why. We've had some leakage. Not a lot, as Paul Daniels would say. God. Oh. Well, that's the sellotape gone. <laughs> For those who know how to put this, ah, there you go, coming off. God, they make it look so easy on some of these other channels. Oh, it's nice and smooth. They really do make it look easy. I'll tell you what, it's not. And I'm sweating. <laughs> Trying to get this off. I'm sweating. <laughs> Oh, 
quite a lot back. That bit. I don't know if you noticed it, but as I was doing it, it's popped it. But I'm going to swear in a minute because this clue. <laughs> Cheap stuff from Wilco. No, the range. Tell a lie, the range. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming, people. It's coming. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh. God, bleeding. Nora. Talk about being Popeye by the end of this. one piece but it's off oh Jesus that was hard work right now I know I've got a lot of extras over uh, I think that's all extras over and I've probably left it too long oh maybe not let's try it's coming off nicely Wobbly. It is a bit wobbly. Oh, because of that bit there, look. I've got to get that off. Oops, cut a bit too much then. Oh, that's what that was. That was a bit of that. do for now for that bit right so this bit I'm going to take the blade out and very carefully oh if I can get hold of the bloody blade I can't get hold of the blade <coughs> Drag it, drag it along, and then drag it back that way. It's still overhang on the on this bit here. Look, so let's get rid of all that. Get rid of all the hang out. Oh, oh don't know where that went. Somewhere in the kitchen. This must be where it's gone in, sort of like the edges of the um, perspex stuff, whatever you're going to call it. Thank you. 
don't think that was six flush with it. Oh no, that's, that's not too bad actually. Okay. So that's like that. And then the lights will go inside. I've got to make a groove for the lights. It's a light light. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like with the lights off. Don't know how dark it will be. There you go. Let me bring them down. Excuse my hand. Oh, hang on. Up quite a There you go. I think that's quite good. I'm quite happy with that. I think that's quite cute. All right, let me put you back up and turn the lights back on. Oh, I can't reach. Oh, that's it. And that one, that's it. And plug you back in, otherwise I'm gonna run out of juice. I think that's worked out quite well. Obviously it's got to be sat properly and I will Actually, I'm going to have to bring... Oh, he's got them like that one there. That might be why. Yeah. That could be why. It's got to be put in there more. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Obviously, that's going to go to the back. So that will be that way round. So the light switches at the back. I'm happy with that. So, I've got to get rid of this lip here. Um, where's that? I had, I did have this. My burring tool, I don't know if this is going to help. Burring tool. It's coming out quite nicely. on that bit. Oh, that bit still feels quite high. That's better. And then that <coughs> sit on there. Okay, so I've got to make uh, <coughs> where's the best place for me to do it? That's got a hole in it already. So I might as well do it from there, hadn't I? Let's take all the junk out. So I'm going to do it across here. I'm just going to you have to watch your fingers because I haven't got tools to do this, so I'm just going to use my knife. Right, so I want that there. It's a lot easier if you've got tools that you could do it with. I'm afraid I haven't. I'll cut my fingers off, I can see it coming. <laughs> Let me come back when this bit's done.
Oh shit. That's very fucking uh, soft. So why isn't this? Okay, done that. What the old? Right, I've got this E6000. Uh, I'm going to try this. I've never used it. I've only just got it. Um, don't want to glue. Oh, hang on a minute. Don't need to move. I haven't chopped off the bottoms of this, have I? Never get this thing in the uh, in my hand properly. Chunk took out of that one. Oops. Not very good with that thing. <laughs> Better with my knife. That'd do. Bit of a line there. There you go. That would do. So, what I'm going to do is put some of this E6000 around the outside of that hole to there Ooh, a bit a bit runny and then make sure I've got the car around the right way which is that way put that in the hole Just put your fingers in it Sandra put that on there and then hopefully Oh, sit and dry. Hopefully. <coughs> Don't know if that's enough. There might not be enough glue in there. It's not, I can't even see it on here. <laughs> I know it's over the side, one side too much. <clears throat> I can't help that. These shells are sticking up, which is a pain. But there you go. That's the way it is. Glue sticking out there. Make sure there's no more glue. No. 
That's the only bit. Oops, there's me with little sod. Ugh, my hands are sticky. I've got glue on them. Right, hopefully that will sit and that will stay like that. I think I should have uh, made the stones maybe a little bit less deep on the carpet. But there you go. It's got to sit and dry now. And all it needs then is a bit of a tidy up on the edges. A bit of a polish up. And it will be ready to be to go. Now I've done this um, with my grandson in, <laughs> in mind actually. Um, I become a nan again next month. So I'll be a nanny of three. Can't wait. But yeah. So anyway, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed that one. I certainly enjoyed doing it and I'm loving, absolutely loving the outcome. So, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you always know when I'm putting up any sort of video, whether it be a video that's turned out right or a video that's turned out wrong <laughs> usually wrong with my channel but yeah thank you very much for for watching and uh please leave a comment if you like let me know what you think i like to hear what people think be careful with knives i took part of my skin off but yes i'm happy with that thank you very much for watching Ta -da.